Hi, good evening all of you. Today we are here to discuss about some key questions related to the pharmaceutical quality systems. My name is Hitendra Kumar Shah. I am a CJMP Compliance Consultant, Trainer and Auditor from NADH plus GXP Compliance Services. And without wasting time, let us start on discussion on different questions what we are going to discuss today. So these are some questions I displayed on the screen that we will discuss and remember these questions will be clarified or answered with the reference of some regulatory guidelines okay so the, all the answers i will display in the next session in the coming uh, slides and with the reference of the specific regulatory guidelines so what are the questions we are going to discuss the first question is is it required to review quality policy periodically why i took this question you know because most of the companies you know uh, i have seen that they have the quality policy it is it, it will it will not have any date also the quality policy some you know, somebody prepared some time you know management prepared about uh, maybe you know um, uh, decades or you know the t five years ten years before and it is just displayed in the conference room but the question is whether we need to periodically review the quality policy or not and what is the expectation of the guideline with respect to this that we are going to discuss about this question the next is do you have a formal procedure to communicate quality policy to all employees so the question here is we prepare the quality policy but is there any requirement to communicate to all the stakeholders like all the people working in the company or not and for that do you have a formal procedure or not hope you are getting my point with respect to these questions and the third is what should be included in the quality policy so exactly what is expected in the quality policy that points we should not forget in the quality policy so that also point we are going to discuss under the third question the next question is many people are getting confused about the quality assurance concept so <clears throat> The first question is with respect to the quality assurance is whether the QA is a management tool or something different and exactly what you are aware or you know the what is exactly meaning of a quality assurance concept with respect to the different guidelines of course that we will discuss and clarify this question during this session hope these questions are clear to all of you and let us move to the uh, further discussion and before going to further discussion I just want to put some disclaimer that whatever I am going to present today it is exactly in line with the guidelines and information collected so basically the point is you know if you want to implement my request is to please refer the current version of the guideline because I am preparing this uh, training session or the training video today but you know uh, there may be possibility that after two years three years or in future the guideline is likely to revise so i am putting the guideline reference so whenever you want to implement you just refer that guideline and then you only re on, uh, refer the guideline with the current version and then only you can implement in your organization this is a, a disclaimer i just want to put and further you can read the disclaimer now let us start our discussion on the quality policy all the three questions related to the quality policy i displayed on the screen and the first question is is it required to review quality periodically answer is straight away yes answer is straight away yes and in line with the answer is in line with the ich guideline ich q10 ich quality guideline number 10 it is for our pharmaceutical quality system and the expectation of the guideline is the quality policy should be reviewed periodically for continuing effectiveness so the point here is the quality policy suppose it is prepared today it should be sign off on the today's date suppose it is prepared today and then we need to have a procedure to periodically review the quality policy that period you can decide at your end as per the um, you know your quality systems and all but the point is quality policy should not be you know long life document 
it is the dynamic document which will be reviewed periodically it is not a fixed document just like you have a SOPs or procedures in your company how they are periodically revised or reviewed similar way this pharmaceutical quality system guideline expects that the quality policy also should be reviewed periodically for continuing effectiveness hope this point is very clear and this is in line with the ICH Q10 guideline okay so let us discuss about the next questions so whether we should communicate the quality policy that is also answered in by ICH Q10 the quality policy should be communicated to to and understood by personnel at all levels in the company this is exactly the guideline expectation now why I am discussing this because in most of the companies I earlier I told you that the guideline uh, sorry quality policy is displayed in the conference room and nobody is aware about the what is specified in the quality policy second thing when the question is asked to the people what is written in the quality policy people will not able to answer this question and very important thing the next question comes whether you formally communicate to your staff or employees about your quality policy so there is no any formal communication process uh, to communicate and and ensure that it is understood by the people working in the organization so this is the expectation by quality policy so my point here is you need to have a formal procedure for quality policy and you need to communicate how you communicate it is up to you okay but the point is you need to ensure that the people understood the expectation of the management this is what the written here so i personally recommend to have some formal training as a part of your training management system you need to have a formal training on quality policy followed by the evaluation formal evaluation so that you can comply this requirement hope it is clear and this is in line with the ICH guideline it is a harmonized guideline so it is uh, you know uh, expectation by all the different regulatory agencies okay further the quality policy the third question about the quality policy it is answered below what it should contain what should be the content of quality policy so this is explained in this paragraph second paragraph Senior management should establish a quality policy that describes the overall intention and direction of the company related to quality. The quality policy should include expectation to comply with applicable regulatory requirements. So the expectation is very clear. What is expectation? To comply with applicable regulatory requirements. So this point you should never forget in the quality policy. And the second requirement is it should facilitate continual improvement of the pharmaceutical quality system so these two points you should never forget in your quality policy so if your quality policy is not having these two points then you are not complying the harmonized requirements specified under the ICH quality guideline number 10 hope this is very clear from this discussion right so this is again elaborated by the or expected by the WHO and UGMP guideline so in the WHO guideline as per uh, annex 2 it is a GMP for pharmaceutical products and specifically for the main principles and also the same content is there in the Utralex volume 4 chapter 1 and that chapter 1 is a pharmaceutical quality system so what this both guideline expects that I am clarifying here for your understanding. The attainment of this quality objective is the responsibility of a senior management and requires the participation and commitment of staff. So this is very important participation and commitment of staff in many different departments and at all levels within the company. And also not only within the company the company supplier and distributors so you need to make aware about your suppliers and distributor that what is your quality policy and they need to follow the your quality systems or your they need to comply the your uh, systems to ensure that quality policy is respected 
This is explained and expected by WHO GMP guideline annex 2 and UGMP chapter 1. Further, both the guidelines expect some points with respect to the quality policy. So that is what I just want to share you. To achieve these quality objectives reliably, there must be comprehensively designed and correctly implemented pharmaceutical quality system incorporating GMP and quality risk management. So nowadays the role of a quality risk management is a very very broad and in developing the quality system also the quality risk management role is very very important. So this is what the expectation by WHO and UGMP guide. Hope you are clear with this guideline right. The next now clarification about the uh, key questions about the quality assurance is do you agree that QA is a management tool and what do you mean by quality assurance. So as per the WHO guide annex 2 uh, you know the same guide what I was referring uh, before this GMP for pharmaceutical products main principles systematic actions are necessary to ensure adequate confidence that a product or service will satisfy given requirements for quality. The totality of all these actions is termed as QA. So whatever the actions we are do taking or we are implementing to ensure adequate confidence that a product or service will comply the given requirements for quality that all actions is termed as a quality assurance. So it is just not only the department basically it's a basically the you know the responsibility this is explained in the WHO GMP guideline. Further the question is whether it is a management tool the answer is yes as per WHO guideline within an organization if we are considering the quality assurance role or responsibility in the organization QA serves as a management tool that means what the management cannot directly involve in day to day operations so QA serves as a management tool so that if any quality issues or quality matters are there immediately that matters can be escalated to the higher management and that is the reason you might have seen that if even in the so many uh, citations also if there are some non-compliance or non-conformity the questions are asked with the quality assurance. The reason is quality assurance is serve nothing but a management tool. So as during normal audits and inspections directly all management is not directly involved in day to day activities. So QA is a management tool. So QA is responsible for doing these activities. Correct. So if any non-conformity is there, so QA need to answer and if any non-conformity in day-to-day -day operations, in a serious non-conformity, QA need to escalate to the management immediately. So that is the reason I mentioned here in line with the WHO GMP guideline that QA is nothing but the management tool. Hope you got my point. And this is what I was telling in the organization and suppose if there is a contract. So if you are subcontracting the some activities and all then QA serves to generate the confidence in the supplier. So quality assurance serves to generate the confidence in the supplier. This is what the meaning of the QA. Hope you are getting my point. Further as per WHO GMP now in the WHO GMP you know this is the you know the separate guideline for a quality assurance. You can read these first three lines. As per WHO guide quality assurance of pharmaceuticals. This is the WHO guideline specifically for quality assurance. So <clears throat> quality assurance of pharmaceuticals volume 2 second updated edition it is for GMP and inspection. So this is a separate guideline of WHO. WHO is having so many different guidelines. So this is a quality assurance guideline for WHO specifically. You can go through this guideline in detail. So basically this guideline expects that or explain that quality assurance is not only the some department and all it's a wide ranging concept. It covers all matters that individually or collectively influence the quality of a product. Hope 
this is also you are getting so my point here is please don't consider qa or quality assurance is just a department okay further it is explaining the same thing uh, quality assurance definition by quality assurance guideline by w2 gmp it is explaining the same thing it is the totality of the arrangements made so whatever all the arrangements made with the objective of ensuring the pharmaceutical products are of the required standards of a quality which is suitable for the intended use so basically whatever the actions or arrangements we are taking or implementing it is called the quality assurance quality assurance therefore incorporates gmp and other factors including those outside the scope of this guideline so basically quality assurance incorporates gmp and all the other factors including so this guideline is not applicable for product design and development but still it is applicable for this also so quality assurance is involved in the product design and development also this guideline is for quality assurance specifically right who guideline for quality assurance still in that same guideline it is mentioned that it is applicable and also outside the scope of this guideline means what is the scope of the guideline guideline of scope is a quality assurance but still it is applicable for product design and development and that is the reason in r d also research and development also the quality quality assurance role playing is a very important uh, uh, aspect with respect to the ensuring the product quality hope you got the points and the clarification from all these questions and in line with the regulatory guideline expectations so my just one request is to please subscribe this youtube channel so that you will get a free notifications from all these uh, free learning uh, you know the questions answers and free learning platforms also you can share this to your colleagues so that they will also get the benefit and they will clear the doubt about all your questions and all and of course i just request all of you to please ensure all time compliance thank you so much for your kind presence and ensure all time compliance if you have any questions you can put in the comment section i will reply to your questions thank you so much and ensure all time compliance thank you